वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू टू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल्स बेस्ड ऑन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ इक्वल एंड इम्पिडेंस एंड दैट इज वॉट आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू विद रिस्पेक्ट टू लापलास्ट ट्रांसफॉर्म सो लेट अस सी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हियर सो इफ यू सी दिस क्वेश्चन देन इन दैट द करंट इन आर एल सर्किट शोन बी लो इज आई ऑफ टी so that is i of t over here and its value is given 10 cos of phi t minus pi by 4 so let me mention that i of t that is given that is 10 cos of phi t minus pi by 4 in terms of ampere that is given right and the value of inductor that is how much so value of inductor that is a question now you see here voltage is given with this source so let us say this is v of t so that is 200 cos of phi t so 200 cos of phi t in terms of volt it is given now simply all you can do is you can identify the value of z first and that is v of t divided by i of t right and you see here i can write this value of i and v in terms of angle as both are having same frequency right so i can say i of t that is 10 and you see angle is minus pi by 4 minus pi by 4 means minus 45 and this is what 200 cos phi t so 200 and angle is 0 right in terms of ampere current is there and in terms of voltage we have v right so now we can place this so v is 200 angle 0 and i is 10 angle minus 45 so 200 by 10 that is 20 and 0 minus minus 45 that will be 45 angle over here in numerator now we just need to take real and imaginary part separately you see this impedance is r plus j x l right so we just need to take real and imaginary part separately so if you use rack function so you see shift and rack function is over here in your calculator you will have to see how to use rack function so 20 angle 45 so you see real part is 14.14 and imaginary part is 14.14 so based on this i can say this is resistance right so i can say resistance is 14.14 ohm and this is impedance remember this is impedance this is not l right this is impedance xl and xl is j omega l that you can say or in laplace it is s into l right so based on this i can say that omega l that is equals to 14.14 now if you see this signals so in that omega is phi you see cos phi t minus pi by 4 right which is there with i and with v it is cos phi t so omega is phi so i can substitute omega is equals to phi into l is equals to 14.14 so i can have l that is 14.14 divided by phi so that is 2.828 means i can say 2.83 henry so this is how we can identify unknown value of inductor and resistor right let us have one more interesting question so that will resolve your understanding further so here in question the current shown below is driven by sinusoidal input so input is given vi that is vp cos of t divided by rc so here we have vi that is given that is vp into cos of t by rc and steady stop state output is how much that is the question so output is happening in between this two terminal right and you see here we have input and here we are having a circuit in terms of r and c 
So if you convert that in terms of Laplace domain, then we can identify V0, right? So in this circuit itself, let me convert that into Laplace domain. So R will remain R only, but this C in terms of impedance, it will be 1 by SC. So this C is also 1 by SC, right? So now if you want to find output V0, so that is input V in into, see this impedance, let me show you first, see if I say this is one impedance, right, let us say this is Z1 and this is second impedance, let us say this is Z2, V out is V in into this impedance divided by addition of both impedance, so this impedance is Z1 divided by Z1 plus Z2. Now, let us separately calculate the value of Z1 and Z2, then we will substitute that over here. So if you see the value of Z1, so that is R parallel 1 by SC. So that is R into 1 by SC divided by R plus 1 by SC. If you take SC LCM, then this SC, SC will get cancelled and that will be R divided by 1 plus RSC, right? And if you want to calculate Z2, so that is R series with impedance 1 by SC. So R plus 1 by SC, right? If you take LCM, then 1 plus RSC divided by SC. So now we have Z1 and Z2 and that we can place it in this equation to get the value of VO, right? So VO, now see what I'm doing is VO by V in that I'm writing. So that is equals to Z1, so Z1 is R divided by 1 plus RSC divided by Z1 plus Z2. So that is R divided by 1 plus RSC plus Z2 that is 1 plus RSC divided by SC. Now here, we just need to take LCM, right? So you see what will happen. If you take LCM, then see in numerator, that will be R divided by 1 plus RSC. And in denominator, you see here, it will be RSC plus 1 plus RSC whole square, this divided by 1 plus RSC into SC. So see this 1 plus RSC and this 1 plus RSC will get cancelled and this SC will get multiplied with R. So you will be having V0 by V in that will be RSC divided by RSC plus 1 plus RSC square. Now if you further simplify this then you see RSC divided by C this is 1 plus 2 RSC plus RSC whole square. So 2 RSC plus RSC that will make it to 3 RSC. So I can say 1 plus 3 RSC plus R square S square C square, right? Now if you observe our input that is VP cos T by RC. So if you compare that with VP cos of omega t, right, then you can have the value of omega, right. So if I place omega that is equals to 1 by rc, then I can have further simplification how you see s is equals to j omega. So I can say omega is 1 by rc, so s is equals to j by rc in this equation, right. So let us have V0 by V in, in that, now you see RC into J by RC that I need to write, S per S is equals to J by RC, right, plus 1, one plus 3 RC into S where S is J by RC plus 
r square c square is there and into s square is there means j square by r, c, r square c square right. Now if you see this equation then you see this r c will get cancelled over here here as well as over here right. So you can observe this is j divided by 1 plus 3j and this is plus j square means minus 1. So you see 1 minus 1 that will be 0. So j by 3j that where j will get cancelled and that will be 1 by 3 only. So all I can say is v0 is equals to one third of v in and we have v in you see v in is vp cos of t by rc right. So vp by 3 into cos of t by rc that is our correct answer. So let us check it in options. So vp by 3 cos of t by rc this option is correct. So that is how very interesting questions may be coming based on equivalent impedance right. You should know the idea of equivalent impedance using Laplace that will definitely helps you to solve many other problem. It may be useful in analog electronics, it may be useful in signal and system, it is also useful in transient calculation, in network theory. It is also equally important in terms of calculation of impedance in other ways even. So whenever whatever application is coming, I will definitely explain you that with respect to examples. There are many applications of Laplace. I hope you have understood this. Thank you so much for watching this video.